Yeah, that's it. I got to tell you again, I consider this a success. I don't know if you consider it a success or not, but I do. The last time around, I mean, a few months back, I tried the same casting with a similar 3D printed mold using the factory formula. And uh, my mold gave up the ghost almost immediately after the first cast. And this was because I was using a different casting protocol, which I left the lead in the mold too long. Uh, I, I had the lead heating at too high of a temperature. <coughs> this time around, using the ladle, they'd actually brought the lead down to the temperature, you know, to the basic melting point of the lead, which helped a lot, I'm sure. And now I got to figure out um, if my uh, the faces of my molds are perfectly flat. If so, I can squish them together and not have, not not compromise the very edges, the very inside edges of my mold. You know this here, which is began what began to turn yellow, and and it's, uh, it's I think it's to be expected. It's such a thin thin edge that the heat automatically just takes its toll on it. I'm thinking if I can get these these mold halves, the faces. Here, perfectly flat and uh, when I pinch them together tightly uh, they'll be less susceptible to that kind of a burning effect but even with that seam there if I compensate for the size of the diameter of the bullet uh, in my sizing process before reloading the bullets I'm sure they'll take care of that too so uh, uh, let me know what you think and uh, inevitably I get people tell me well man it just takes too much work yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's obvious that this is not for you. So uh, just keep doing what you're doing, and I'll keep doing what, my, what I'm doing. And uh, we'll go that way. Uh, my reason for doing this experiment in the first place is that uh, there are more people that own 3D printers now that, that there, than there are that own milling machines and stuff like that. So uh, I want to be able to just print these molds in the comfort of my own home and know that they're going to work for me without me having to lay out all kinds of cash for a store-bought mold. Nothing wrong with the store-bought molds. I got tons of them myself, and they work very good. Uh, but I also wanted to uh, be able to make my own with my 3D printer. Incidentally, I do have a CNC mill in my small shop behind that door. Uh, and I can't... Ah, shoot, it's too dark in there to see. That's my mill. I can and have done my own molds. That's my metal lathe. By drill press, I got the shit to make stuff with. It's just that I wanted to be able to make a 3D mold that would work more than just one time. You know, I could cast multiple bullets with it. And if I had to make another one, I just make another one. I mean, it's what it, it's a dollar and forty-eight cents worth of resin to make just one of these. You know, you can make them as complex as you want, and it still would not be anywhere near the cost of a store-bought mold. So uh, that's what I have to say about that. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.